life update. I would say a get ready with me, but I'm not really, I'm just gonna put on like a very light face of makeup, brush my hair, drink my coffee, kind of chat with you guys. Um, so, also I'm not lighting incense today. Um, I want to light a candle instead, so let me grab that. I'm just not in an incense -y mood. It's like a very strong smell, and if you're not in the mood for it, it's a lot. Um, so this candle is from Marshalls. We still have our price tag sticker on it. Um, it's Sand and Fog is the brand. Um, my boyfriend picked this one out. It's in the scent Ocean Mist. I was really sick, um, a week, almost two weeks ago. I just had, like, a flu, like, the flu, or, like, a really bad cold. Um, I'm feeling fine now, but... Like, he was going to Marshall's and a couple other places, um, just like running errands after work, and he asked if I wanted to come, and normally I do, like, want to come, um, like, run errands and stuff, but I was so sick, I was like, no, I'm gonna stay home, and he said, do you want to bring you anything? And I said, just something to make me feel better, and he brought me this candle. Um, so, I'm gonna light that. Again, if you're familiar with my videos, I usually light incense at the beginning of every video. But switching it up today. I'm gonna just put this back here. Okay. Um, along with a new setting, I also am trying some new microphone settings. Um, my gain is turned up just because I'm right in front of a window and you can kind of hear the cars going by, or I don't know if you can, but I can. And you can hear the birds outside, and I thought it sounded nice. Um, so you'll have to let me know. But let me kind of get into the update, 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 update. Also, this Get It Ready With Me style video was requested by my sister. So Lily, if you're watching, this is for you. Um, I'm just going to kind of brush, brush through my hair. But anyways, so Currently, like the first week in March, it's a Saturday, and Saturdays are my day off. What is like caught in my hair? Like a little fuzzy. <laughs> Maybe it was on my brush. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, um, and Patrick is out golfing, so I have the bedroom to myself. It's very quiet in my apartment, so I'm filming in our bedroom. Let me know if you'd be interested in like a room tour because we're actually moving soon, which I'm gonna get to. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a room tour like before we move out of here. Um, but yeah, so anyways, normally I film at my dining room table and um, because we are moving, um, there's two of us that live here, like, my Patrick and I, and then we have a roommate as well, um, and we're both moving. She is moving out in about a month, um, a little less than five weeks, and then we're moving out in two months, so about seven and a half weeks. Um, okay, sorry, I had to go turn my heat off, um, because it's so loud, but... So we're moving out at the end of April, um, so, anyways, we're selling our dining room table, so my roommate and I bought it together, so we're selling it, and that's usually where I film, um, so someone was supposed to come pick it up last week, and then they flaked, and I think 
she found someone new to buy it that's gonna buy it this week so I'm trying to figure out a new filming area um, for until we move and then it'll be another new filming area but yeah so I figured I would just try this out while he's not here um, but yeah so moving out we are actually um, moving out like I said in a little under two months um, our lease is up May 10th but is my finals week like the week leading up and I do not want to be moving during finals so we're gonna be moving right before and we're actually for the summer we're gonna be moving in with Patrick's mom it's just aquaphor my lips have been so dry mm been like so dry lately but anyways we're moving in with Patrick's mom just temporarily for the summer um because as I've mentioned before I'll be going to law school in the fall so sometime in mid-August I would imagine but I still am waiting to hear back from schools March is um from what I understand usually the big um month this is just March, like, so anytime I should start hearing back from more schools. Um, but basically, I applied to schools in a few different cities, so I'm not really sure where we're gonna be living. Um, and like I said, we're moving out the end of April, and I may not hear back from every school until early April. Um, and so obviously, that would be a very tight schedule and I feel like we'd be scrambling to find um, a new apartment and that just sounds like a little bit too much stress with finals and graduating and starting law school and um, all of that so we're gonna stay with his mom and stepdad for a few months probably through July it depends on when we find another apartment and it also depends on where we're moving because if we stay in the same city um, the deadline is not really as tight, obviously, um, because it's probably like a 25 minute commute to downtown where the law schools are from his mom's, but totally doable for like a short period of time. But obviously, if I'm going to law school in a different city, we have to move before law school starts. So it will totally depend, um, but it would be nice because we can actually save money while we live with his parents. Um, I have always been paying rent since I was 18. Um, I moved out on my own pretty early. Um, so I don't even, like, remember, like, I don't know what it's like to not have to pay rent. Um, because I always have. So it'll be really nice. I'll be able to save full money and I'll be working pretty much full time this summer. Um, because once law school starts, I won't really be working. So, that'll be really nice. Um, but yeah, so... We're starting to sell some furniture. I'm um, just like living area furniture, um, because we're keeping all of our bedroom furniture in like in storage because we love our bedroom furniture. Um, but like my roommate's couch sold already, and her coffee table, and we're selling the kitchen table. So like our living room environment is like so empty. Um, <laughs> it feels so empty, anyways. showed this in a previous video this is like it's um, a very like light coverage foundation I honestly feel like it's more like a tinted moisturizer but works for me so anyways um yeah so if any of you guys have moved before it's stressful and it is like a long journey like packing everything up going through all your stuff um, 
luckily we're in a position where we're not moving straight from one apartment to the other so we can move our stuff out gradually um and his dad is letting us store our furniture in his basement so we don't have to pay for like a storage unit or anything so we can honestly start moving our stuff in there as soon as we want um so we probably will start doing that over the next couple of weeks but we're excited we um uh, we started looking at apartments near us last night again we don't know if we're gonna end up near us or not but we just started to look at some options so that way if i do get into a pittsburgh law school we can start um going and looking at apartments on the sooner side just to get a feel for different neighborhoods because we definitely do not live downtown now we live pretty north of the city um i lived downtown when i first moved here well not downtown but pretty close but patrick um is from the north um like north of the city and he's never really lived in like a an urban environment he's very much like from the suburbs white picket fence townhouse community kind of thing so it's a big a lot bigger of a change for him than for me um so we definitely will need to look at some places um um but yeah so putting on concealer obviously <laughs> um so anyways so what is going on now so i'm almost halfway through my semester this is week seven out of 16 um one of my classes is an eight week course so i have my final for that next week and then i start another eight week course um for like the second eight weeks so i'm finishing one class next week and then starting another week um i don't know if i'm gonna have any like a like a traditional midterms week because i had a few exams um like two weeks ago so i think a lot of my classes are doing like instead of doing the traditional like midterm final are doing sort of like three separate exams um so instead of doing four weeks or um like an eight week and a 16 week they did like a five week and then i think like a 12 week and a 16 week which i prefer just a lot less pressure like two exams for a semester there's really no room for error you know i put in my application for graduation which is literally so exciting i can't believe it so that's exciting um some setting powder over that concealer um we are I'm trying to think um i don't know what else is i gonna say um we I should say I so I technically don't graduate until this summer July I have to take a few summer classes um, to like officially graduate so um, however I have the opportunity to walk at commencement in May um, I'm not really gonna actually walk just because that's not my style but I applied for like May graduation um, so that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, it'll be law school, but, um, my aunt is gonna throw me a big graduation party, which is really exciting because it's like a graduation party, but also sort of like a send-off, like, because I'm going to law school right after. So it'll be cool to have, like, a little celebration moment. Um... And, oh, and I was going to say, what's really nice is Patrick's job, um, is remote. And it's staying remote post-COVID. So, that makes it a little bit more flexible with 
moving and stuff because if we do end up in a different city than where we are now he won't have to worry about like jobs so that makes it a lot easier on both of us all right i'm like just using my phone camera to do my eyebrows so i'm not sure how this is working big difference um but anyways um I'm a little stressed about the cats. I mean, I know they're gonna be fine, but like moving is really stressful for an animal. Um, I mean, they're really little still. They're only seven and a half months old. And by the time we move, they will only be, well, they'll be about nine months. Um. And they'll turn a year old probably right before we move out um, of Patrick's mom's. Um, but what's going to be interesting Sorry, this is like really hard to do without a mirror. <laughs> um, but what's going to be really interesting is um, Pat's mom is actually adopting two puppies at the end of this month, little Westies, um, and if you're not familiar with Westies, the breed, they, the puppies right now are less than four pounds, and our cats are like eight pounds, so they're like teeny tiny. So, we're going to be living in a townhouse, four humans, two dogs, and two cats, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> mm. We're going to introduce the puppies and the kittens probably at the very beginning of April, so they'll meet a couple times. I'm hoping that the cats won't be scared of them because they're- the dogs are so much smaller than the cats, so I'm scared- I'm like hoping they'll like them and want to play with them, or at the very least, not be scared of them. I'm just putting on some cream blush, which looks really intense right now, but I'm gonna blend it out. Also, this summer, my sister-in-law is having a baby. Um, she's due in July. Um, so I will be a first-time auntie. I'm literally so excited. Um, we already know that she's having a girl. We found out a couple months ago. Um, and we're literally so excited. So, a big part of me is hoping that we end up staying in Pittsburgh and I can go to law school here um, so that I can be super close to my niece um, because I'm already obsessed with her and she's not even born. So, we are literally so excited. Also, 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 um, We are going on vacation, vacation, vacation. We have two vacations planned coming up, which is so exciting because we obviously haven't like been anywhere <laughs> um, in a year, actually. Yeah, the last, mm, since May. We were in Florida last May. But anyways, we're going to the beach. The beach, the beach, the beach, the beach. In April, the second week in April for a little long weekend vacation moment. <laughs> and we are so excited. Um, we're staying in like a little efficiency, um, just a little break, some warm weather. Will be nice. I'll be zooming into class from there. <laughs> um, And and then at the end of July or beginning of August, depending on what our schedule looks like, we will be taking a little trip, a little trip, a little trip, a little trip to 
down to Houston, Texas. I've got a lot of family down there and my Houston, my family that lives in Houston moved there around two years ago and our plan was to visit them last spring, but COVID. So obviously we didn't do that. Um, but it's really nice. The nice thing about flying when you have family somewhere is you don't have to pay for a place to stay. You don't have like food expenses really unless you like you know unless we decide to go out for like dinner which i'm sure we'll do a couple of those but really all we're paying for is the flight we get to see family and my family has a fool so that'll be really nice and that'll be sort of like the last hurrah before we're off to law school i mean i say we it's just me but you know before we move and stuff so yeah that's so exciting um I'm gonna put eyeliner on without a mirror. hard to like see if it looks good without a mirror. Um, I feel like they look very different. This is a nightmare. I'm not a makeup whiz, you guys. Like, obvi I mean, obviously. I used to be a lot more into it. But I try my best, you know? Like, I try my best to look cute. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. And if it's horrible, then I'll fix it in the mirror. Whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've had so much homework. I've been working a lot. Um, I've been so busy. Literally, I feel like making YouTube videos is like the only thing that I do for myself. So maybe, um, oh, and of course you guys know I read. I've been reading, but I feel like I need to <laughs> take a little bit better care of myself. See how dry my lips were. I woke up. They were split this morning, so that's obviously not a good thing. I'm actually not gonna put lipstick on because my lips are split, so I want to keep them nice and hydrated. But yeah, I mean that's really it. I just wanted to give you like an update on what's going on. Um, it's finally time to get sunny out. I think we heat change the clocks next week, so it'll be nicer but yeah um there's a lot of changes i will say waiting for law school decision letters is horrible the wait is torturous 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 um and it's fully out of my control which is like really stressful um because i'm a little bit of like a control freak um but yeah basically to normal um by the time you see this it will have been either just at a year since the world was normal again or it'll be just over a year since the world was normal so okay i kind of fixed it now mascara 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 mascara
also say I put in my notice at Starbucks so I can finally get nails on again. Maybe that sounds really stupid, but like, I feel like I'm not making good money at Starbucks and it's not worth it for me to not be able to get my nails done. Anybody that knows me in real life or that you watched my old videos um, knows that I'm like a nail queen. And that's like my thing. Like I don't get my hair done professionally. I don't get lash extensions. I don't buy expensive makeup. I don't buy a lot of clothes. Like the one thing I do for myself is get my nails done. And I feel like that's like a major self-care thing. Like it just boosts my confidence. It makes me feel so good about myself. And I miss it. And it's about to be summer, I'm like... So yeah. Okay. Um. Also... Um, I'm gonna go make myself lunch, um, do some, a little bit of homework, watch some more Say Yes to the Dress because I've been binging it lately. <gasps> um, and yeah, I have, I'm babysitting later tonight, but other than that, Saturdays are nice and chill. I don't really do much on Saturdays because they're like my day to like stay home and relax, um, because I work. Sunday through Friday, um, I mean, I am babysitting tonight, but I don't work, like, any of my regular jobs, like, Saturdays are usually my day off, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my afternoon. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this channel. I love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, please stay safe and